How you doing today, guys? I am working on a MSV, as in Victor DME BMW uh, X5. I think it's a 2008. All right. I already have the ISN. I was able to read it with uh, with Auto Hex, but you know, I'm just trying different tools just to see right here it says to move a couple pieces the ic for the can transceiver put a couple reset put a couple resistors and stuff so i made those movements moved the chip soldered in the resistors just like they wanted soldered in that little tiny one right there which was a pain in the butt resistor and wired accordingly according to the diagram I even tried different ways from different diagrams just to see but also as much as they market that they could do certain things and this and that you know so far G box 2 trying to do boot mode or even anything so far has failed me on a MSD 85 85 MSD 85.1 and MSV Victor 80 it just stays there stuck reset and power supply all the connections are the way it requires like I said, I was able to read. I was able to read the EC, the ISN with uh, with Auto Hex. I have the full version, but I'm trying to make preparations because I need to install a used DME on this truck but auto hex I can only read it and um I'm gonna try later on with uh with hex prog the thing is my license ran out so looks like I'm gonna have to pay a thousand dollars for the license just to try Hopefully it'll work. I need to be able to read the um, write the ISN to the new ECU. I mean, I can do it the other way around, but I will have to reset the transmission, change the uh, ISN in the cast. This is what Auto does all the time. Never works for me, but with other tools, I'm able to. How was it? Uh, VVDI two. I got my VVDI Pro, VVDI 2 over there. VVDI 2 uh, says uh, doesn't work for this version. So then I updated the ECU and see to see if uh, VVDI Pro would, would read it, but still didn't like it. Also, not capable. Uh, Auto Hex is capable. To read it, but if I want to use the hex prog to do it in factory mode, I'm gonna have to uh, purchase the license. Regrettably, I'm gonna have to, but this is just a quick video on little project I got MSB80 Autel, no go, VVDI2, no go. Auto Hex hasn't failed me yet. I'm just a little upset because I just bought the Auto Hex full package, but now I gotta spend another thousand dollars if I want to be able to do this job on the bench like this. Because I take I get a lot of work to do on the bench. Not every job I could be at the car. But it's a quick update. So if you got an auto, don't expect to do it. BBDI2, uh, 
maybe depends on the whatever software level you're on you're probably going to have to use ESIS to flash it to whatever software version VVDI2 likes auto hex uh, what it does it reads it if it doesn't see the, the software level once it automatically flashes it to a version that it can work with it does it all automatically nothing you don't have to do anything just make sure your power supply is good uh, I don't even know what to say about auto alright it's a quick update thank you